I, I actually thought it seemed like his slider, he got going a little bit there early. Um, you know, the, the, the change up, you know, that kind of leaked back right in the middle that Bogart's got, got him there in the first, um, after a really competitive at bat with, with Devers where he worked the walk on him. Um, obviously that was, that was a tough blow early there in the first, um, you know, and then, and then just coming back around, obviously Schwarber's able to get to a heater, look like up above the zone, maybe, um, so it was just a little bit of a grind for him. And, and again, just getting hurt, uh, you know, with with some slug, with some some pitches that kind of leaked back there in the middle and, and they took advantage of them. So, um, you know, and, and, and obviously tonight wasn't a night where, you know, normally you get settled in and who knows where you go from there. But um, so, you know, I went and got them pretty, pretty quick, obviously, but um, just just a little misfire on a couple and and they made them pay. The offense really wasn't able to muster much tonight. It did seem like they were building some momentum there with Judge on base, Stanton at the plate. What did yeah. Nevin see on that play that that led him to send Judge? Yeah, I, th I think coming in, the, the ball coming in looked like it was going to be kind of an in-between hop to the to the infielder. Bogarts did a good job of creating a hop, catching it clean, and 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 obviously throwing it home and, and getting them. But and and that kind of squashed a potential rally there. So. I, I think what he saw was what he thought was going to be kind of an in-between hop and really a, a tough chance. We can take a next question from Marley Rivera. Um, hi, Aaron. What made uh, Nadia Valdi so tough today? Like he always is. I mean, he is a... He's got great stuff. I mean, you know, up to 100 miles an hour, this fastball cuts cuts it. I thought he had his curveball going a little bit tonight with the splitter. So he had, you know, he was able to change speeds and um, and he's a great strike thrower. You know, he, he's he fills up the strike zone and, and you know, obviously got a lead there and was able to, you know, kind of take advantage. Um, but, you know, he's a guy that is one of the best pitchers in the league and, and it's because he has the tool set to do it but then he, he's he's got command and you know last time didn't really necessarily have a splitter his curveball that really gives him a change of pace tonight he had that going a little bit for him and got in a pretty good rhythm Aaron I, I assume you've had some time to speak to the team uh since the loss what was your message to them and what's the uh could you describe the mood in that clubhouse right now um, guys are crushed, you know, uh, you know, unfortunately we've been in this position where, you know, fortunately we've, we've been in the playoffs every year, but it hasn't ended how we wanted, obviously. And tonight was another tough one to tough one to <clears throat> tough one to take. Um, and we've been through a lot of wars with guys in that room and, you know, we got a, a lot of scars. Um, so guys are, guys are bummed I mean, guys are you pour a lot into this and I, I guess my message is you know first of all <clears throat> I'm always I'm I'm grateful uh, I'm grateful to be able to compete with with that group of guys and one of the things I'm most proud of with this team this year is this was a challenging year this was not a this was not an easy year for us and you know, when we had to play well the final two months and really compete at a high level, I thought we did that and put ourselves in a position and gave ourselves a chance to be in this game with an opportunity to do something special in October. And uh, so I love the way we've competed and showed up the last couple of months. But the other message is that, you know, the league's closed the gap on us. You know, we got to get better. We got to we got to get, you know, better um, at, at in every aspect at just getting a little bit better, you know, because it's not just the Red Sox and the Astros now in our league, you know, I mean, look at our division. The Rays are a beast, the Toronto and, you know, the, there's some teams in the central that are that are getting better and better teams in the West that are better and better teams that have closed the gap on us. And, you know, that needs to be you know, front and center as guys prepare uh, in the off season and get ready for 
for spring training next year that, you know, we've got to get better.